friends. <laughs> and when you need help, <laughs> you when you need help, you, you call, call your friends. We've been parked here for a few weeks and we woke up and every morning we saw this woman cleaning the beach on her own and we had to go and talk to her and we ended up spending hours having a heart to heart with her and basically Saher has used to work in a law firm, she's quit her job, she's dedicated her life to protecting the turtles on this beach yeah. which are endangered. Yeah. and uh, we just couldn't walk away from her. She was so passionate, so dedicated and so desperate for help that we just we just had to step up to the mark. So why did you call us? Because you have a massive Turkish influence and we're in Turkey. And, and you're our friends. And you're our friends. <laughs> and when you need help, <laughs> you when you need help, you, you call, call your friends. And I'm coming <laughs> <laughs> But there's a serious side to this, isn't there? There is. There, there is a serious side. The serious side is that um, Sahar, for the last year, year to two years, she spent all of her own money on cleaning up this beach, looking after the turtles. She educates the school children. Um, and I don't know whether Turkey realizes, when you see so many nests on the beach, there was 30 laid yesterday. Mm -hmm. you, you think that it's common. You think that it's, they're not endangered. Um, but certain parts of the world are lucky to have these creatures coming up on their beach. Yeah. And right here is in, in Turkey um, is, is definitely one of those places. Seher told us she started protecting the beach after she found a dead turtle that had been hit by a vehicle, someone joyriding on the beach. Now she has the help of the local gendarme to stop drivers coming on the beach. Even standing on a nest can damage the eggs and that's why the nests need to be marked out and protected. This is a model Seher's made of the turtles' eggs and how they're buried in the sand. And you can see here that they're quite close to the top. So any vehicle going over the top of that would crush all these eggs underneath. Early in the morning it's quite obvious where they've been and where they've dug their nest. And if we could just protect that spot, we'd be helping the turtles and their fight against extinction. Because many of the beaches nowadays are full of tourists, we're having to share the beaches with these beautiful turtles who have actually been here for more than 50 million years before we even existed. Someone needs to protect the nesting sites and keep these beaches clean if the turtles are going to survive. Often universities and local councils and people from the private sector and private individuals get involved in this sort of protection and we're hoping that you will too. There are hundreds of organisations that are cleaning beaches and helping the Kareta Kareta, these beautiful turtles. But occasionally you need somebody with some real drive and somebody who will take it into their own hands to do all this. We met up with Seher, who had been sleeping in a tent with very basic facilities and tools since April last year, so that she can get up early and mark any new nests that are created by the turtles coming up on the beach. Bit sefer görsek yavrulara, e unutmaz değil mi? Eğer o karetmanın gözüne bir kere bakarsanız, o yavrunun yuvadan çıkışını ve denize o kadar hızlı gidişini görürseniz bu dünyada her şeyi unutuyorsunuz. Bakın ben işimi bıraktım, ben bekar bir anneyim. 
eğer o canlıların, yavruların gidişi ve bakışı sanki teşekkür ediyorlar ve hızlıca gerçek evleri olan denizlere gidiyorlar. O gidişteki heyecan ve kendi yuvadan çıktıktan sonra sadece binde biri bile yaşamıyor. Ama yine de gidiyorlar. Evet. Kuşlar, tilkiler, evet. etçili hayvanlar hepsi yiyor. Onların şansı çok az. Çok az. Çok binde az. bir. Ve bunun üstüne insan faktörleri en büyük etken evet. çöp. O kadar çöp, çöp toplamam. Önceden ben hiç toplamıyordum çöpü. Evet. Yuvayı kazıyorum böyle. Yavrular çıkıyor. Pet evet. şişelerin içine sıkışıyorlar. Evet. Pet şişelerin ben içine de. sıkışıyorlar ve böyle debeleniyor. Evet. Çok kötü. Ve dedim ki bu sahillerin hepsini temizleyeceğim. Çocuklarım için. Onlar benim çocuklarım. Ve onlar gidince böyle içime huzur kaplıyor. Acayip güzel oluyor. Onlara, insanlara bunu dokunmak lazım. Görün bir kere demek evet. lazım. Bunu gördükten sonra onlar da başlıyorlar. Evet. Often the rubbish that's left on the beach gets mixed in with the eggs as the turtle is burying them with her back flippers. So you can support the turtles and be part of this new project by donating to Sehair's new organization which is called Decafoc, which has been officially registered. And the donation link that Chris and Marianne have set up from Tread the Globe is in the description below. For the, the important part is making this project sustainable because yeah. it's it's fine spending money and when it's gone you have to go back to work and it's over. Yeah. So we're determined, as Tread the Globe, we're determined to find a way of making what she does sustainable. Yeah. So we've done set up a GoFundMe page um, it's already raised a really good amount of money. The links down below, by the way. Down there. <laughs> and um, we're going to build a education uh, center on the beach here. Facility. Good. So that there's there's a base for tourists to go to learn about turtles. Yeah. Um, to buy maybe turtle t-shirts to help fund the conservation. Because this is a huge tourist area, isn't it? You know. There really? is thousands. <laughs> I don't. I've never seen anywhere with and so many luxury hotels. Huge hotels too. Huge hotels. Absolutely. So, yeah. And and eco tourism. I've seen it. You know that look come to the beach they'll they'll learn about the turtles i mean how magical would it be to watch a nest hatch yeah i've fantastic. never seen one yet fantastic you know yeah. and it's right on their doorstep and tourists everybody would love to see that yeah. sponsor a turtle you know for your granddaughter yeah. you know buy a turtle t-shirt there's so much um so so much potential here yeah um, and the future of tourism you know the way the world is going you know yeah eco tourism eco is the future it's going to be the future i totally agree we can work with tourism and tourism can even be a help eco tourism is taking off all over the world People have already donated over £20,000. The funds will be used to build a new sanctuary and education centre in, like the one in Dalian, and Seher will run it. Well, I was on Chalish Beach uh, in one of the bar restaurants um, having a meal and it was getting late and, and suddenly there was all this um, talking and the lights went out and everyone was hushed, the music stopped. And it was because somebody had flagged up that there was a turtle coming up onto the beach to lay its eggs. And it was a wonderful experience to be part of because obviously everybody respected the fact that we all had to be quiet. There was no flashlights, no lights, no music. And we watched this turtle come up the beach and lay its eggs. It was amazing. To sit and watch the turtles laying the eggs and then to see her fold the sand very gently as if she's got a hand with gloves on is just an unforgettable experience.
Yeah. So I agree, there are lots of people doing beach cleans and amazing work and we would never ever take, take that away yeah. that from no. anyone. We need all of that. We you know, need yeah. all everybody of that. needs to be involved. It's yeah. a world Absolutely. problem. Yeah. Yeah. But she she's a special she's but a special are, lady. Yeah. There are people like her and like you that can emphasize this and push it through and get it get it into Thank action. You. And and that is the power of social media. I mean, what's the point of being a travel blogger if you can't do some good with it? Absolutely. You know, that is the point of what we do. Yeah. You know, that one day you can actually maybe make a difference with your social media following. Yeah. You know? I'm feeling all emotional again. <laughs> <laughs>